Hello again. So I hope you're all keeping well during these challenging times. So a couple of months back I made a Fortnite themed shooting range video using these Firebird AR-40 detonating targets. Confirm. So that was a whole heap of fun, but being totally honest, my garden isn't the longest um, and particularly with the use of the scope and the rifle, it wasn't the most challenging to hit those targets. So I've come up with an idea to create moving targets, but this time round we are replacing the paper versions with actual fruits and vegetables. So I'm um, still sticking with the Fortnite theme. We're using this pumpkin or munchkin as they're affectionately known as to recreate Jack Gordon and an apple, obviously for evil apple. Um, so let me show you how I made these moving targets. We are going to need a servo, a high torque servo. Uh, this version can handle a capacity of up to 20 kg. Um, this is probably as low as I would go if you can go higher, um, even better, but crucially, you will need a servo that can be configured in this uh, dual servo horn or dual servo arm uh, setup. So you can see the top wheel is connected to the motor, uh, whereas the bottom wheel uh, just enables you to install these C-shaped brackets that comes with the kit. And we'll be attaching the movable arm to one of these brackets which I will show you shortly. Uh, you will also need a servo tester. Um, I will link to all of these items in the description below. Uh, this one is um, housed in a metal case so it was a little more expensive I think about eight pounds but you can get the sort of bare bone versions for as low as um, three or four pounds and to, for our power, we are just using a standard 5 volt um, USB, USB supply. Um, the only other component that you'll need is a... Um, so I'm using a strip of L-shaped aluminium. Uh, and this is going to be our movable arm. Um, I'm using this because it's lightweight and strong. Uh, but yeah, perhaps if you want to experiment with um, other materials like wood... No reason why that wouldn't work. So to begin with, you're going to need to connect one of these brackets to the strip of aluminium. I'm using four nuts and bolts for this, but if you did decide to use timber, you could just use some uh, wood screws. So the kit does come with two C-shaped brackets and just remember that it's the larger of the two brackets that you want to attach to the aluminium strip. So next we are going to attach our servo to a length of timber using the smaller of the C-shaped brackets. Now it's important to remember that the servo um, does allow for a 180 degrees of rotation so make sure that your timber isn't too wide where it will impede that movement so I'm using about six and a half centimeter width and that works fine but definitely something to be mindful of so we will screw this bracket down so this smaller bracket attaches to the servo 
using the self tappers hopefully that's in focus and the larger of the c-shaped brackets um, attaches to the servo using these um, tiny bolts so that's the two c-shaped brackets installed to the servo um, I'm now going to show you how to connect this servo to the servo tester um, now um, the good news is if you haven't got your Hawkeye on and you get any wayward shots uh, this is now the back of the uh, target so your components will be protected um, right so starting with the servo lead um, in this case it's marked up yellow red and black the only thing you need to ensure is that the black corresponds to the negative on the output of the servo tester there are three outputs it doesn't matter which one you plug into um, now for the power I'm using a USB to um, DC barrel jack lead uh, and that enables me to splice into um, the other end of this servo lead um, now for the input uh, you only need to concern yourself with the positive and negative and again just make sure that you check the polarity when plugging in but you can't really go wrong because um, positive is in the uh, middle connector and once you have that connected um, you have a select button on the servo lead uh, you press that twice to auto and all being well you should see your arm moving so time to get this on the, on the shooting range let me quickly show you how I embedded the AR40 targets into the munchkin so insert one of the targets into the orange striker plate uh, wrap that in cling film because when you insert it into the pumpkin uh, that will protect it from any residue and moisture And for our choice of weapon, we are using an XS78 rifle with 0.22 Crossman power pellets. So here's the contraption, all its glory. Um, and as it's uh, the Halloween season, I've added this ghostly figure. The movement was a little jerky when I had the munchkin on the end of the arm. Uh, that's why I've moved it closer to the centre to balance things out. So my three boys with the sharpshooters and after a dozen or so shots their accuracy and timing definitely improved. You can see just hit the post there. And as the saying goes, practice makes perfect. Yeah, these AR-40s definitely pack a punch. You can see we take out Evil Apple at the same time. I'm pleased to report that the mechanism managed to withstand the force of the blast. The aluminium arm is a little bit mangled, but everything's still working as it should be. So just to finish off, we experimented with a few items that we had lying around the house, just to see how the mechanism would cope with them. So this is a ceramic uh, pumpkin candle holder uh, 
And the last item that we experimented with was a Coke can. And as you can see, there's no problem at all at mounting on the end of the arm because it's so light. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and be responsible and be safe.